Hello, welcome to the show. My name is Chris, and this will be another Avatar The Last Airbender reaction. I'm on episode 9. Uh, this is the water bending scroll. So, if you're new to this, I have watched this show before. It's been probably 15 years since I watched it, so I don't remember everything that happens. I have like vague ideas when I see like the name or when the episode starts, but I don't remember like the meat and potatoes of the show. So, so you're confused if you ever hear me say, oh, I forgot that. I have watched this before. But in the last episode, we got introduced to Roku. We actually got to see him. We got to talk to him, interact with him in the spirit world or in it in Aang. He's, I don't know, that's kind of, it's his dragons in the spirit world. He is a part of Aang, I think is what it is. But we, we got to see him interact with Aang and teach him a little bit and kind of warn him, hey, this is what's coming. And if you don't, you know, learn your stuff, you know, it could be the end of the world. So uh, they now have their mission. Their mission is for Aang to learn the elements by, I think it's the end. So it's one of those, oh, you got to hurry up and learn things. And wild ride. So further ado, let's just get to this episode and have some fun with the water bending scroll. Would you sit down? If we hit a bump, you'll go flying off. What's bugging you anyway? It's what Avatar Roku said. I'm and we start off right there. Four elements before that comet arrives. Well, let's see. You pretty much mastered airbending, and that only took you 112 years. I'm sure you can master three more elements by next summer. I haven't even started waterbending, <laughs> and we're still weeks away from the North Pole. What am I gonna do? Calm down. It's gonna be okay. If you want, I can try and teach you some of the stuff I know. Someone's changing our course. What's the meaning of this mutiny? No one told you to change course. Actually, someone did. I assure you, it is a matter of utmost importance, Prince Zuko. Is it something to do with the Avatar? Even more urgent. It seems I... I've lost my Lotus Tile. Lotus Tile? And I can get on with my life. <sighs> I'm lucky to have such an understanding nephew. Not really? Yeah. Just push and pull the water like this. The key is getting the wrist movement right. Like this? That's almost right. If you keep practicing, I'm sure eventually. Hey, I'm bending it already. Wow, I can't believe you got that so quickly. It took me two months to learn that move. Well, you had to figure it out all on your own. I'm lucky enough to have a great teacher. And he kind of is the avatar. So what's next? He's done this, this is before. A more difficult move. I call it streaming the water. It's harder than it looks, so don't be disappointed if. Nice work. Though the over-the-head flare was unnecessary. Sorry. Well, don't stop now. Keep them coming. Well, I kind of know this one other move. He's but upset. it's pretty hard. He's I haven't upset. totally figured it out yet. The idea is to create a big, powerful wave. So, like this? <laughs> We've got exactly three copper pieces left from the money that King Bumi gave us. Let's spend it wisely. Uh, make that two copper pieces, Saka. I couldn't say no to this whistle. <sighs> world traveling tight. I legitimately I can cannot believe they're not more pirates in this world. Curios? Sure. What are curios? I'm not entirely sure. But we got him. This is the perfect world to have pirates. I'm kind of surprised they have that they're in this like one group. Huh? Movie. I didn't notice how many animals it had in it before. Look at this, Aang. It's a water bending scroll. Check out these crazy moves. Where did you get a water bending scroll? Let's just say I got it up north at a most reasonable price. Free. Feel a lot better once we get away from here. Hey, you! Get back here! Well, well. Look who's come to their senses. Told you the haggling would pay off. <laughs> Wonder if that was a callback to Indiana Jones with that guy that did the. There they are! Get him! 
Boof. He's pretty tough. Oh no. The cabbage guy. Uh. No, that's why I took this. No way. Isn't it great? No wonder they were trying to hack us up. You stole their water bending scroll. I prefer to think of it as high risk trading. <laughs> Good one, Katara. Sokka, where do you think they got it? They stole it from a water bender. It doesn't matter. You put all of our lives in danger just so you could learn some stupid fancy splashes. These are real waterbending forms. You know how crucial it is for Aang to learn waterbending. <sighs> Whatever. You bought a Sungi horn? For music night on the ship. Now, if we only had some woodwinds. Uh... Oh, this place oh, looks Ira. promising. Oh, that is handsome. Wouldn't it look magnificent in the galley? We lost the water tribe girl and the little bald monk she was traveling with. This monk, did he have an arrow on his head? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry, but you deserve that. You've been duped. She's only interested in teaching herself. Aang will get his turn once I figure out the water width. <gasps> oh, come Why on, can't I poor get Momo. This stupid move? You'll get it. You just gotta shift your way through the stances. There. See, the key to bending is... Will you please shut your air hole? Believe it or not, your infinite wisdom gets a little old sometimes. Why don't we just throw the scroll away since you're so naturally gifted? It's so crazy to think how raw she is now and how strong she becomes. It's so crazy. Shouldn't we stop to search the woods? We don't need to stop. They stole a water bending scroll, right? Mm-hmm. Then they'll be on the water. Using your brain, Zuko. <gasps> no! Let go of me! I'll save you from the pirates. When she's being defensive, it's natural. When she tries, she struggles. What's wrong? She took the scroll. She's obsessed with that thing. It's just a matter of time before she gets us all in deep. Trouble. Yeah. Come on, Aang. No. Aang, this is all my fault. No, Katara, it isn't. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> give me the boy. You give us the Definitely story. her fault. You're really gonna hand over the Avatar for a stupid piece of parchment? Don't listen to him. He's trying to turn us against each other. Your fr Yeah, Sokka, you really should shut your mouth. I'm just Judy's saying, doing. it's bad business sense. Just imagine how much the Fire Lord would pay for the Avatar. You guys would be set for life. Keep the scroll. We can buy a hundred with the reward we'll get for the kid. Uh-huh. You'll regret breaking a deal with me. Oh, ah! I didn't grab the scroll. Okay? Help me get this boat back in the water so we can get out of here. We need a team of rhinos to budge this ship. A team of rhinos? Or two waterbenders? Inspiring Are confidence. you so busy fighting you cannot see your own ship has set sail? We have no time for your proverbs, Uncle. It's no proverb. So natural. Ah, there you go. Have done it without your help. Will you two quit congratulating each other and help me out? <laughs> oh, poor Saka. <laughs> have 
you lost your mind? This is no time for flute practice! Yeah, but how are you gonna get off? have another problem. Or miss that. You were just so good at water bending without really trying. I got so competitive that I put us all in danger. I'm sorry. That's okay, Katara. Besides, who needs that stupid scroll anyway? Is that really how you feel? The scroll! First, what did you I'm learn? It. Stealing is wrong. Unless it's from pirates. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Katara. Ah, yet another solid episode of Avatar. Lessons being learned. She is capable and powerful, but not yet. Definitely looks like she water bends better when she's kind of defending herself rather than just trying to do it practice. So, man, it's good. such a good show. I don't wish that more. I have seen it, but it's not that good. I'll probably never watch that again. Um, but yeah, like the show, nothing took it out of me. Iroh's great. His one-liners are great. Zuko is smarter than he acts and looks sometimes. And Aang is just what he is. He's the, com he's the embodiment of four, all four bending practices. And he's been doing it for thousands of years. So it's pretty powerful and natural. And Korra, Korra Katara got jealous. So, but with that being said, I hope you guys liked this reaction. If you did, feel free to like, share, subscribe. Um, if you like this viewing, uh, find me in Discord and comment section below. And until next time, peace out.